The New Puppy, story by Lawrence Anholt. Pictures by Catherine Anholt. Read by Corey Reed. Anna loved dogs. She had china dogs and wind-up dogs, fluffy dogs and bedtime dogs. She had pictures of dogs on her bedroom wall. She even had a pair of black and white doggy slippers. She had every kind you could think of, except a real dog. Sometimes Anna would pretend her little brother was a dog. She taught him to bark and crawl around on the ground. Then she patted him and gave him a cookie. Good boy, said Anna. But it wasn't so wasn't the same. Anna wanted the real a real dog. Her dad wasn't so sure. A puppy needs to be looked and after and trained, he said. I could help, said Anna. It will eat a lot of food and need exercise. I could do that too, she said. It wouldn't stay little for long. Anna's dad said. I like big dogs, said Dad, said Anna. You couldn't just change your mind and get rid of it. I know, said Anna. It'll be part of the family. Wherever she went, Anna looked at dogs. She tried to decide what kind she liked. Some were too long, too tall, too loud, too sleepy, too neat, too hairy, too large, too small, too spotty, and some were just too silly. One day, Anna and her dad and brother went for a walk in the countryside, then saw a field of sheep, full of sheep and a farmer with a black and white dog. Suddenly, the dog ran across the field and began chasing the sheep through a gate. Look at that dog go, said Anna. That's my sheep dog, said the farmer. She helps me on the farm. I wouldn't mind a dog like that, said Anna's dad. Well, come and look in here, said the farmer. Open the door of the shed, of a shed. Inside were six of the sweetest puppies Anna had ever seen. The farmer told Anna their names. Teeny, Tiny, Tony, Topsy, Tiger, and Tess. They were all need a home, said the farmer. Well, I think we could give one of them a good home. Don't you, Anna, said her dad. Anna didn't know which one to choose. They were all so cute. Then one of the puppies chose her. The roundest, fattest, happiest of them all. And all of them all watered across and licked Anna right on her nose. That's Tess, said the farmer laughing. I think she likes you. Yes, Anna said with a smile. And I like her. You'll be one of the family, won't you, Tess? But Tess was still too small to leave her mother. So Anna had to wait a few weeks. It seems like a long time, but Anna and her brother got everything ready. They found a bowl and made a bed by painting an old blanket into a cardboard box. At last, the day, the day came. Anna and her dad brought the puppy home. At first, Tess slept most of the time. She had he ate lots of warm food and make puddles on the kitchen floor. But everybody loved her. Then she started to chewing things, started chewing things. Her blanket and her cardboard box, the rubber gloves and the carpet, the plants. And even Anna's brother. Bad dog, said Anna, holding her true school book. You can't eat the whole world. Anna and her dad went to the pet shop to buy a proper bed for Tess and something that she could chew. There were all kinds of interesting things for dogs. Collars, leashes, toys, whistles, biscuits, bones, combs, brushes, shampoo, vitamins, rubber toys, and even a little coat. Finally, they chase a big red blanket and a squeaky teddy bear. But when Anna and her dad got home, Tess wasn't there. They searched 
everywhere at last. Anna found Tess in her bedroom. Tess was wagging her tail and looking very pleased with herself. Tess had chewed everything. Anna ran downstairs in tears, holding the pieces of her favorite doggy slippers. I don't want that dog, she screamed. She's only a tiny puppy, reminded her dad, and she's, she's a very long, long way from her mother. Anna was still very upset at bedtime. In the middle of the night, Anna woke up. She thought she heard someone crying, but her brother was fast asleep. She tiptoed downstairs, and there was Tess, all sad and shivery. Anna unwrapped the squeaky teddy bear and gave it to her. I'm sorry I shot it at you, she whispered. I'll be your mother now. When Anna's dad came down for breakfast, he found Anna and Tess fast asleep in a new red blanket. T Tess didn't stay tiny for long. She grew and grew and grew, and soon she was one of the family. Anna loves dogs. She has China, she has China dogs and wind up dogs, fluffy dogs and bedtime dogs. She's she has every kind you could think of. She even has a pair of chewed up doggy slippers. But best of all, Anna has a real dog. The end. Coming up next on the third season of Corey's Bedtime Stories, the Owl and the Pussycat. Bam, 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 and a recap for the Tonight Show when the third season of Corey's Bedtime Stories continues after this. Don't go away. We'll be right back.